Welcome to our high school virtual awards program. My name is Keith Hall. I'm the high school principal, and we're so happy you could join us. Research has told us this, that the recognition of one's efforts is more important and more valued than money. We are here to recognize a number of students for their accomplishments. Those who have excelled in areas such as academics, Christian leadership, Christian character, service, athletics, and the creative arts. It's just our way of saying thank you and recognizing you for a job well done. Here to lead us tonight in a word of prayer is Mr. Mark Garcia. Mark is our department chair of the history department, and he also teaches AP history and US history part two. Mark, please come and lead us in a word of prayer. Hello, please join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for providing this opportunity to come together as a faith community. And thank you for continuing to show yourself faithful to us time and again without fail. Help our eyes to see all the beautiful work you continue to do. Our seniors who had to miss out on so much in return have been widely blessed and celebrated by the entire faith community. Our chapels have taken on entirely new and beautiful dimensions. Families have drawn closer together and closer to you. You have shown us that in all situations, life can go on in beautiful and meaningful ways. May we remember and write these good works on the tablets of our hearts, and may they become our collective stones of remembrance about this time. So when future generations ask us what these stones mean, we can tell them about a time when the rains fell and the floods came and the winds blew across his land. Yet we endured because the goodness and faithfulness of God and of our rock, Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, I pray that you watch over our families and continue to bless and strengthen them. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hello, my name is Preston Daniel. I teach ninth grade world history here at Grapevine Faith. I'm here to present to you the 2019 through 2020 school year High Point Awards for the ninth grade class of Grapevine Faith. We're going to start with Ancient Civilization, Brooke Cherry. Honors Ancient Civilization, Lainey McCaden. World Literature One, Garrett Hyman. Pre-AP World Literature One, Lauren McCulley. Algebra One, Alexi Meshagan. Geometry, Peyton Robbins. Honors Geometry, Isaac Phillips. Physics, Isaac Phillips. World History, Nick Furman. Pre-AP World History, Lainey McCaden. Spanish One, Lauren McCauley. Dance, Lily Vineyard. Art One, Lainey McCaden. Outstanding Choir One, Kyla Coleman. Theater, Charlotte Hughes and speech and debate, Olivia Herringer. Congratulations to all of you and have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much. Hello, this is Mr. Wernz, the Creative Arts Director here at Grapevine Faith Christian School. And I have the distinct honor and privilege to get to share some special news in the area of creative arts. Every year, there's a competition in art called VASE. VASE is a statewide art competition for both public and private schools, where about 35,000 pieces of art were entered this year. And out of those 35,000 pieces of art, they were whittled down to 2,200 pieces of art. We received uh, some high honors in the competition this year, and some of those honors belong to the, our very own freshman class. As a matter of fact, Lainey McCaden received two gold medals for her art, highest award that you can get. So congratulations, Lainey. And also receiving a gold medal was Peyton Robbins for his artwork. Congratulations, Peyton. This is such an honor for our school and for everyone uh, that know these two and for these two. 
Now, Peyton's work that he received his gold medal uh, for also received another distinct honor and recognition. See, out of the 2,200 pieces of art, 150 are then chosen or selected by the judges as the best art in all of Texas for high school students in both public and private schools. Well, this year, I am so excited to announce that Peyton Robbins' piece of art received a gold seal. Never in the history of Faith Christian School has this happened before. We also had a sophomore, Ellen Augenbaugh, receive a gold seal as well. So congratulations to these students and all of our ninth graders. And I wanna thank our ninth grade class that were in the musical, The Music Man. You added so much to the show this year and I'm so proud of each and every one of you. God bless you all. Good evening. My name is Mrs. Toast, and it's a privilege to coach speech and debate at Grapevine Faith. Tonight, I get a chance to award the degrees to our students who competed on our speech and debate team this year in the ninth grade. During the year, members of our speech and debate team earn points in competition and service. So accumulating these points earns students an invitation to the National Speech and Debate Honor Society, and then subsequent degrees as they continue their involvement. The student names I'm about to call have joined the company of other notable NSDA honor degree recipients. Josh Gad, Stephen Colbert, Zach Efron, Idina Menzel, Jane Polly and Supreme Court Justices Samuel Alito and Sonia Sotomayor, just to name a few. So this evening, the names that I'm calling, uh, they are receiving their pin. It's their lapel pin. And this will go on the lapel of their jacket that they wear when they're debating. Or uh, for the ladies, we just pin it onto our shirts if we're not wearing a jacket. And we might wear that when we present um, our service speeches as well. So we begin with the merit degree recipients this year, and that is Garrett Hyman. Our honored degree recipients are Grady Norman, Peyton Robbins, Holt Cole, Jacob Tose, Isaac Phillips, and Olivia Pearson. And we have one freshman excellence degree recipient. And Olivia, you earned this degree faster than any student in the history of our speech and debate program. And we've been around for eight years, so it was quite an accomplishment. So Olivia not only earned her excellence degree, but she also receives, when a student receives their excellence degree, they also letter in speech and debate. So Olivia was so thankful to have achieved that uh, before the COVID crisis hit and we could no longer go to competition. So I was so pleased that you made that goal, Olivia, and we wish you a special congratulations on your excellence degree and your letter in the Speech and Debate Association. Congratulations to all of you. One last note, uh, novices, you are the strongest novice team that we have had in our eight years. And so together, you all just came out swinging and you did such a great job on our team this year. And I cannot wait to see you back again in the fall. So I hope you have a great summer and we'll see you soon. Hello, students and families of Grapevine Faith. I am Patrick Rentz, assistant principal of the high school, and I am honored and excited to share with you today uh, the winners of the Order of the Lion Award. Now, this award goes to those students who display strong Christian character uh, in the following areas, obedience, respect, uh, honesty, diligence, and those that set a great example um, as peaks makers amongst their peers. And the other thing that is interesting of note for this particular award, uh, it is not voted on by teachers and administrators. It is voted on by the students themselves. So what I'm going to do is share with you some of the submissions from the students themselves, and then I'll tell you who it is that I'm talking about. Okay, so first we're going to start with the ninth grade ladies. This particular student brings peace and happiness wherever she goes. 
displays selfless behaviors, leadership, always honest, such a kind Christ-like person who loves the Lord, Catherine Hatcher. Next, this lady displays a positive spirit. She is kind towards everyone, compassionate. She loves the Lord with her whole heart, Christina McDonald. And finally, this particular student is always kind to others, makes sure nobody gets left out, shows Christ-like character, is a great example of Christ, and that is Hallie Walker. Congratulations, ladies. Now on to the gentleman. This particular student is very diligent, always kind, nice to everyone, always lending a helping hand, respects all those around him, Nick Furman. Next, this particular student constantly displays Christ-like character, is respectful to teachers and other students, puts others' needs first. He is passionate about what he does because he does it for the Lord. Grady Norman. And finally, this particular student looks out for everyone, cares for everyone, is firm in his beliefs, is a great example, is very godly, Caden Swaney. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen, and all of your families. Uh, very deserving. I also want to thank all the students for your submissions and for recognizing the talents God has placed in your classmates. Thank you. The Deborah and Elijah Award is given to one young man and one young lady per grade level. Teachers elect students who most exemplify servant leadership toward their classmates and their teachers, serving them with generosity, humility, wisdom, enthusiasm, and love. They show in diligence in respect to God's word and demonstrate endurance in the face of the challenge. Our freshman Deborah recipient is described by her teachers as a wonderful example of what this award represents. She has a sweet spirit and exemplifies Christ-like qualities that are witnessed by her peers. Another notes that this young lady is mature beyond her years, kind and humble, and puts others before herself. This year was a difficult year for her in that she dealt with an injury that delayed her being a part of the girls' soccer program. Through this challenging time in her life, she continued to maintain a very positive and grateful attitude. Another teacher says that this is the sweetest student and I do not know one person she does not get along with. We're so glad she came to our school. Others note that she is impossible to dislike. She truly has let Jesus be in charge. We need a world full of young women like her. She's a new student this year and she's already a friend to everyone. Her love for the Lord is clear in how she talks and treats others. She's a blessing to everyone who meets her she is Faith Byram. And our freshman boy recipient of the Elijah Award is described by his teachers as having a likable personality. He's loving, patient, kind, peaceful, self-control, the list goes on. He's gifted by God with great creativity. And creative people bless our world with immense flavoring. Another teacher notes that this young man shined in geometry class this year, as evidenced by his earning the High Point Award. He's a conscientious student, but more than that, he loves the Lord and he loves others. He has a kind heart and is respectful. He's funny, engaging, and shows kindness and respect to his peers as well as his teachers. He is mature in his behavior and communication and is a wonderful role model for other faith students. This young man is Peyton Robbins. Congratulations. It's my honor and privilege to share the highlights of the senior awards and scholarships from the senior awards program. Let's get started with the Alpha Omegas. 
This group of 16 seniors started Grapevine Faith as either preschoolers or kindergartners. And they make up approximately 20% of the class of 2020. Here are the Alpha Omegas. Alexa Anderson, Evie Anderson, Lauren Bradford, Sophia Brown, Jack Gildenzoff, Deuce Hogan, Mark McCarn, James McDowell, J.R. Minor, Chloe Munson, Preston Parkhill, Caleb Rice Abbey, Alexis Spain, Taylor Stephen, Tucker Wheaton, and Emily Whiteley. Next are the Grapevine Rotary Scholarships. We have five recipients. Alexa Anderson, Luke Blevins, Reed Frost, Dylan Little, and Avery Newell. The Daughters of the American Revolution recipient is Cole Michigan. He's been recognized as the Dar Good Citizen of Faith Christian School. The three Grapevine Ford Scholarship recipients are Lucas Blevins, Grayson Moore, and Chloe Munson. The two Grapevine Faith Creative Arts Booster Club Awards recipients are Evie Anderson and Chloe Munson. The two All Sports Booster Club recipients are Luke Blevins and Sydney Mamasser. The two recipients of the Nolan LeBeau Leadership Scholarship are Emma Blevins and Trevor McNeely. The recipient of the Bruce Wilson Award is Cameron Grogan. The salutatorian of the class of 2020 is James Leland. He'll be attending Air Force Academy. The valedictorian of the class of 2020 is Isabel Hernandez, and she'll be attending the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. If you'd like to see the other recipients of the senior awards, I invite you to watch the senior awards program. I also want you to be aware of the college acceptances received by the class of 2020. Here's a rolling list of colleges and universities to which our students will be attending. Congratulations again to all the recipients for our high school award ceremony. I know this has been a unique experience for you as it has for us as well. Let me stop now in closing and pray a prayer blessing over the freshmen, sophomore, and junior classes as we wrap up another school year and look forward to whatever it is that God has in store for us for the fall of 2020. Heavenly Father, tonight we praise you we lift you and thank you for the breath of life. We recognize that every breath is a gift from you. We thank you for eternal life through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. I ask tonight, Father, that each student, each family that's been blessed by receiving an award would recognize that every gift is from you. Thank you for their talents. Thank you for their intellect. Thank you for their discipline, Father, especially during these crazy, crazy COVID times. I ask tonight, God, that you would affirm the resolve in every faith family in this voice. Father, would you strengthen them? Would you watch over and protect them? Father, for this student body, I ask that you would protect them in a way that would be unique for this season and this time of year, this chapter that's unique in human history. God, would you bless the class that's coming forward, the class of 21 and 22 and 23, God, give them resolve as they embrace the future. Remind them, Father, as future adversities come their way,
that they have overcome a lot over these past few months. Protect our children. We humbly ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you and God bless you and have a safe, safe summer.